The Nikon Z6 and Z7, when paired with the Atomos Ninja 5, are amazing tools for today's progressive filmmakers. In this video, we'll take you through how to set up the Z6 with the Ninja 5 for optimum results. Follow the same setup for the Nikon Z7. First, a little more about the amazing Nikon Z6. As one of the most powerful mirrorless cameras on the market, the Z6 records 8-bit 420 internally without an external recorder. But with the addition of a Ninja 5, you've got the capacity to capture 10-bit 422 over HDMI, all in 4K DCI resolution, up to 30 frames per second. Thanks to the added production firepower of Ninja 5, you're able to take advantage of the quality and convenience of Apple ProRes and ProRes RAW, which preserves the camera's RAW sensor data, giving you the maximum creative flexibility during post-production. Okay, now let's get these devices talking to each other. First, connect a full-sized HDMI cable to the Z6 and the Ninja 5, now that both devices are connected, let's take a look at the in-camera settings of the Nikon Z6. Turn on the Nikon Z6. Rotate the command dial to manual mode. Switch capture mode from still to video. To make sure you have a clean HDMI output, head to Menu, Navigate to Custom Setting Menu, Select Timers AE Lock, Power Off Delay, Standby Timer, No Limit. Navigate to Setup Menu. Scroll down to HDMI. Select Output Resolution, set to 2016p. Select HDMI again, select Advanced, set Output Range to Full Range. Set External Recording Control. Select On, set output data depth to 10-bit. A heads up with the new settings will pop up. Press OK. In log, setting to On. Time to set up resolution and frame rate. Press Menu. Navigate to Movie Shooting Menu. Select Frame Size slash Frame Rate. Set to 3840 by 2160 p for the highest resolution and frame rate. Let's set up the timecode feature for external recording. Select timecode. Set record timecode to on with HDMI output. Set countup method to record run. Set timecode origin to current time. That's the setup of your Z6 complete. Now it's time to set up the Ninja 5. Press the power button. Tap to view UI. Tap top left for input menu. Set trigger to HDMI for camera control. Turn on log HDR. Set camera to Nikon. Navigate to recording settings. For best color information, set codex to ProRes HQ. Then press confirm. Tap on the timecode indicator. Set source to HDMI. Now that's all set, let's close this menu. Tap on the audio meters, toggle channels with selected audio inputs. With those steps completed, you're all set to shoot some amazing footage thanks to the Z6 and Ninja 5. Now, go get creative.